Hey guys, we are back with our second segment in today's all day style class of eight segments. So two down and six more to go after this. So just a reminder, we are going to take you through the segment, which will last around 20 to 30 minutes. And then we'll take a pause and then we'll come back on with another segment. And I'm here with Sarah Brody. <laughs> I've never done the last name before. I know, that's why. Just I'm... making it more formal. <laughs> Hi there. Um, and what we're going to discuss in this segment are antonyms. And, you know, antonyms are just flat out the easiest way to fix a problem child outfit in your mm -hmm. closet. And antonyms, uh, they, they're kind of like they're the things that give the irony, the good friction. Totally. In an outfit. And friction, we know we love it because that's when it makes us feel... Um, at our best because nothing is too expected mm -hmm. and certainly nothing is one dimensional. So what I found is with antonyms, they've been the most helpful because someone describing what's wrong with their outfit, trying to pinpoint what's wrong, that's hard to do if you're not like an expert at something, right? Like totally. if, if someone came over to fix my sink, I couldn't tell them exactly what was wrong, but I could just say it's running hot water. All the time right like if I told him what's wrong the guy'd be like I, I just came over here to fix your sink now you're telling me exactly the problem because I don't know so what we want to do is we want to get you to the point where you discover that just simply stating how you feel in something and then using a tool as practical as identifying the opposite of that is going to open up your world creatively into how you can like solve problems mm -hmm. in your closet so I know for me, when I started out with this outfit, mm -hmm. I originally started out with a full tight. I've got on the refined wool skirt here that's got this kind of car wash detail. I wear a size four and I'm five five, just shy of. But I started out today and I had this on. I had on the top here, a pump and a navy blue tight. I mean business. Exactly, exactly. I felt way too serious for how I wanted to feel. And I also felt a little more one note than mm -hmm. usual, right? I wanted to really mix it up. And for me also bring in my modifier, a little bit of humor. So if I felt too, um, too office proper, bringing in something with mm -hmm. a little more texture felt right for me, bringing in a sock rather than the pure pump, and then as I was getting ready for the train, adding one more pop of like a color and totally. texture felt really, really good, giving me something gummy and strange. Right. So Which tied it all together. For exactly. You. So I was I was too business like, so and, and a little too mature. And I mm -hmm. wanted to give it some youthfulness and some um, creativity, totally. I think, to just really give me a new feeling. Totally. Do you want to go right into a model? Sure. Okay, well, Grace is our first model Come here. On down. Oh, Grace, look at Hi. you. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you are very straight up pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Very obviously pretty. Yeah. So, Grace is wearing our featherweight eco crepe mm -hmm. tie dress in like a sage green, and it's such a pretty color on your skin tone. I happen to really love this color the Oscar patent shoe, which is made for winter in this like red orange. Um, I think you look great, but like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like you or? Well, I mean, I do, I like, yes, I feel put together for sure. Mm -hmm. And I look very elegant, but let's be real guys. Like there's not a sense of me and my totally. authenticity here. So I do feel a little awkward. Um, a little straight, too straightforward, too straight, not too complex. One yeah, totally. and you know, you know, I just need a little bit more depth and a little bit more personality, or at least my personality brought in. Totally. So, what are the opposites to pretty? Well, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> ugly. Strange. Yeah, for sure. Ugly, strange, masculine, mm -hmm. sporty. Yeah. So, why don't we start with ugly? <laughs> Which feels weird because, like, I mean, ugly, it, what, beauties in the eye of the beholder, really? <laughs> like, so, you know, I think we're going for a traditional sense of the word. Yeah. Um, I mean, yes. Because, like, I think, <laughs> um, so for ugly, I'm going to put that in quotes, um, 
I pulled the waxed car coat because I think that it really provides that juxtaposition mm -hmm. with this really feminine um, featherweight material. And I kind of love the offset of the Oscar shoe mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, for sure. Try. Love all yeah. the ring three too though. With totally. Just that one, you know how we talked about all these principles layer up. So mm -hmm. even though we're talking about antonyms, this is so mm -hmm. about the one pop, the ring, the totally. four at the bottom there is so chic. For like sure. I mean, automatically, I just think that really toned down the femininity and even like you just went like, I know, like, really, I was like just that like, sigh, which I like, yeah. which I call like the Amy slouch. <laughs> where she's like looking in the mirror and she's like, <sighs> for sure. Um, I also just feel like it takes away it looking so posh and yeah. it really brings it like more down to earth, yeah. which totally. put this on. Like this is like ugly in a sense. Right. It's really just like it looks a little icky. It looks mm -hmm. like something that you would just kind of grab and kind of mess things up. So yeah, the car coat just being functional and totally. like for this morning where it's a little rainy here in New York, you kind of would put this lean into it. Maybe a little scarf to kind of like boop. Yeah. Totally. Out the door. yeah, I mean, I think let's be real, we're all leaning pragmatic. Yes. So, you know, you need that utility and functionality. And before, with just the dress and the shoe, I don't think you were getting that. Whereas I feel like now you are really finding that balance that we look for. For sure. Um, the antonym comes in too in the hair. Totally. <laughs> you know, because you are, you've got all this dressed up going mm -hmm. on, which never in a million years would your hair be like all wavy down. I don't think it's ever been made yet. <laughs> but, but you here, like, I think you would probably, if you didn't have the jacket, even with, you'd probably be tempted to slick that hair back, mm -hmm. put it into a messy ponytail, mm -hmm. and really give that good friction that way as well. The opposite of what pretty is. You yeah. would lean into sporty or something in that way. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if we put on something masculine. Well, I think yes. we can start with my namesake shoe. <laughs> Every time. I mean, I lobbied for it, and now we're very happy about it. <laughs> so but happy. It, it takes some time for the eye to settle. Amy's shoe. My eye, my eye definitely had to adjust, and once it did, I was so happy. All for it. But yeah. even this, this immediately just, it really, it really does scream like mas like masculine with the shoe. It just. It really just like toned it down. Mm -hmm. It just made it easy. Now I'm like, I believe that you're going wherever. I'm gonna buy bread. <laughs> I'm going to the bakery. I'm gonna go yeah. get a newspaper, something like that, where it's like, I'm not so evening-esque. I'm more like, every day. And so this is where as well, when we talk about like building vibes in your closet and not outfits, when you understand that that masculine element completely changed the feeling that you got from that dress. It's not now like you're like, oh, now I know what goes with this dress. You know now what antonym to put on your body to make you feel as cool and effortless as you do right now. And then if you've got an event where you really, it calls for that pump, you know that you're gonna slick your hair back. And you're gonna add like something kind of ugly and icky to it, right? Totally, Two different yeah. vibes in the closet. Whereas I think like previously with the shoe, I maybe just felt a little bit one note. And so, but at Tibby, we're never buying things just for a certain event. Like we really want the pieces that we purchase to fill a void in our closet. And so I think using antonyms, we're better able to see all what of that the void is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It becomes so obvious, you know, like, just mixing something sporty with this. Totally. The Actimate zip up, I mean, we know it's sold out now, but getting a recut soon, guys. Exactly. So no and, worries. You know, I just think this right now really reined it all in for me. Um, yeah, because this is where even if you had just a black heel in your closet or another heel here, you actually could go even more straight up pretty because this totally. track jacket just took it all down mm -hmm. to a different place, Absolutely. you know? Okay. Love it. Great. All right, Coral. Okay. Okay, now we've got the big boss coming on. <laughs> all right, Davina, come on. I love her. I, I know. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm like, there's nothing, everything is great. We're <laughs> yeah. So, but, but you are a little, like I know you, this is a little, how do you feel it? I feel 
very anxious in this, very serious, mm -hmm. um, ready to take on Wall Street. Yeah. Um, because we, <laughs> we are on Wall Street, um, but it's very serious and very put together, right? Yeah. And um, and yeah, you're right. Like, hello, you know, Goldman Sachs, whatever. If you're ringing the bell at Wall Street, yeah, yeah, yeah. sign me up. You're on. But that's not how you want to mm -hmm. feel today. No. So you feel serious because you've got on the suit, you've yeah. got on the slim shoe, the whole thing. So if we think about the antonyms to serious. We've got um, funny, right? And then there's sporty. Do we have a funny necklace out here? I don't know if that made it out here. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bryn can check. Um, can you check for the funny necklace? The, um, and then um, and then girly. Girly. Girly's yeah. a thing too. So let me. You've got a shirt on underneath us, I right? Do. So let me take this, this off. Yeah. So I think it's really about breaking the wait, 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 before you do this, sorry, real quick, I just want to show what happens it. with the chill, because totally. this, when you styled this this way the first time, I was so, um, <laughs> can we also get the size? Yeah, so I think the Simo Trico Tank trousers are in a size 10. The 10, the jacket's a 10 as well, and then the shirt, Bryn, do you know? I think the shirt's a small. A small, from, yeah. And the top is as well. And when I was unbuttoning you, though, this is a slimmer shirt. I would have done a medium. We just grabbed the yeah. style that we had, but it was, a, I think, a little more closed up on the chest right. than you, mm -hmm. which probably was making you feel even a little more it's serious better, yeah. than you intended. And also anxious. There's, for some reason, like whenever, like, I mean, obviously, like, it's closed up, but whenever yeah. you button something all the way up, if you're not used to it, mm -hmm. you you feel the right tightness. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it. You can feel a little uptight, right? But immediately just Amy unbuttoning the um, Charlie shirt, shirt yeah. really just eased everything out. Yeah. This is really how I like to wear a suit, like suits for people that are really not going to Wall yeah. Street, yeah. <laughs> like to really make it chill, eased out. Mm -hmm. So even even just doing that, like one yeah. simple hat. Yeah, you like felt that. tight. Yeah and just easing it up, mm -hmm. definitely did it. And then you've got all this great jewelry on too, right. mm -hmm. which is doing it as right. well. Um, so why don't we try, here's something sporty. Like what, I mean this, you brought your own t-shirt. Yeah. T and there's something to like, really having these t-shirts that mean something to you. Yeah. I think that when you do feel serious or uptight, Having a shirt on that's kind of like your own private secret. Totally. You know, why, why that team, why that place, where you, you know, did you pick it up when you're on vacation or whatever? So actually, this is a thrifted shirt, and what I did was I took off the collar, so to make it more distressed, and how I would wear this is like this end. Yeah, so, you know, because even right away, the, the reason why you wanted to tuck it in is when you think about the, the different feelings that you have it's not to give yourself a waste. It's not because someone told you that like, this is the look for an outfit, yeah. but all of a sudden you felt like a little too sloppy too because sloppy, you've exactly. got this drape here. Mm -hmm. and so you wanted to bring it in a little bit and polish it up. Yeah. So just simply taking that to the back there and yeah, doing that is perfect. And then you're gonna slip on your jacket and it's a totally different moment and vibe than what you had on before, right? Yes. So already I feel more like me. Um, I do have some meetings to get to. But, um, yeah, I just but whatever you're outfit. selling now. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally buying. I'm totally buying. This is what I like to call the end of the runway. Yeah. Look for Amy. Yeah. When all else fails, you love like a good tee that I consider your armor with a real signature suit. And that immediately is the vibe that I'm getting. Yeah. What's great too when you lean into the antonyms is it also helps you with packing. So maybe when you're packing, you're thinking, well, I feel really serious and this is good because I'm going on like a three day business trip and I need to feel serious here. But then when I'm doing something else, like we're having like a group discussion or just breakfast, I'm going to want to take it down a notch. And this is your taking it down a notch exactly. without re needing like an entirely new set of options mm -hmm. in the closet. Right. And then I think too, like, even if you had on, do you mind one more time? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> you take off the, um, take off the blue shirt there. Okay. 
So this is what I would just want to show you guys is here, one of the reasons why you might feel very serious in something is there might be a little more of a masculine vibe to the outfit, right? Like mm -hmm. it's all in a neutral tan color. It's in a really, really rich suiting fabrication. Yeah. So I think when you really, really want to hit home with um, a punch and to like, if you, you know, you've got this girly thing that happens, right? You've got your, so your bears goes, yeah. on. And here, go put this one on. Um, but just having then that little bright pop of color might be the one thing that you need mm -hmm. to feel the way you want to feel. So yeah. the way, the different outfit iterations we went through was not to determine what you or I would mm -hmm. say is a right feel, but it's like, how are you wanting to feel that day and what makes you feel the most comfortable? And this is from like a little bright necklace from Don't Let Disco. You've got your, these yeah, great guys. There. <laughs> your own bear jewelry. <laughs> Keychain that I just did oh, with my see, face, so. look at that utility. Yeah, right. and so it all became yeah. very creative, mm -hmm. and and you really changed the vibe of the whole outfit. Yeah. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thanks. And now we've got Brent. Hello. Hey, hey Brent. My baby. Hey, Brynn, how are you feeling? And you look like you are ready. Get get the scroll cardigan and oh, let's hit give the me country. a golf set. I am much more the country. Oh. I know. Let's hit the country. Golf. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very. I feel world classic. Okay. And very much in the sense of like, but just classic. Just Not classic. modern classic. I feel totally. classic. Mm -hmm. So I think that we need to add some modernity in there because yeah. it's feeling very one note and. Yeah. I know that your modifier is elegant, and this is very polished and put together, but yeah. I'm not seeing brand yeah. through all of this. Yeah. yeah, it's a little too preppy, I would say. Mm -hmm. So we need to add yeah. some edge, right? I'd consider that. Like, yeah, I feel like someone, this is a TikToker who's like going prep core, and they're just totally. like one up, and you know, so let's give yeah. her some modernity. Totally. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is add our slip cami from winter yeah. it's double layered so you kind of have the option of wearing one layer or two do you mind before you put that on i just want to show how simply this one sleeve oh, even with what she's there. wearing can like change that up because i love that top that guy there but i just want to show like simple simple fix that um yeah. you know when you're looking for what your new jacket should be your considerations are do you have something that has like a really modern proportion to it and if you'll come up there Brent so you're wearing the small and you would definitely yeah. wear an XXS here but just this sleeve alone and the way that it curves in the back here yeah I mean it's bringing it's bringing a whole new whole new vibe to this look yeah, you like if you're at the country club, I feel much better now about joining totally. this facility. And I, I feel like there's a much better like friction between the items that I'm totally. wearing. Totally. And before. I think that's also the key with the raw knee chinos here. You re like to really lean into those, but really feel like yourself, you have to figure out like what that balance is. And immediately just like your hands are in your pockets. Yeah. Your <laughs> more, like, like everything just, just everything just like yeah. like there was a large sigh. Um, yeah. and I think that having a stronger silhouette on top just really speaks to you in a more like fashion forward way. Yeah. It feels much more interesting and much more multifaceted. Let's get this on. We'll do that in private and make it a little, <laughs> little more like uh, pretty sexy going on in there. Um, I also wanted to bring out in terms of mixing in the antonyms, one of the things I hear from a lot of people is they're like, can you help me with the nylon joggers? Mm -hmm. I love the nylon pants, but I don't feel like myself. And inevitably, it's the people who send me a picture. And I mean, these are the good cheaper Adidas sneakers. It's like, they're good. And you've got like a really good t-shirt. Like, I love my t-shirt. But all of this is very literally sporty. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's extremely one note. Very one note. So when you put it on, you feel sporty. And 
what you are noticing here is that is just simply not good enough to be able to identify yourself in one quick catchphrase like that. So just even taking this pant, what we say, the antonym to this pant, the antonym to sport, is every time, guys, just, you're gonna look for, obviously this is a sports sole, you're going to go with a harder sole. So that is gonna make you just a hard sole shoe alone is your perfect antonym to the jogger. And then you can wear the t-shirt, of course, already you're gonna feel better, mm -hmm. but then putting on like a blazer. I wouldn't totally. put on the track jacket with it as much as we love that track jacket. Right. I think you, you again, really wanna lean into that opposite and what you think is gonna look wrong is actually right. Yes, exactly. So name the antonym and then look around through your closet and think, what is the hard sole shoe that I have? What is the structured blazer that totally. I have? And then you know, what to go for rather than like heading to Pinterest and trying to find Absolutely. more inspiration. This is about like fixing yourself in real time. No shame to Pinterest, like it's a good yeah. place for ideas, but you want to just be able to like move around quickly in real time. Okay. Bryn's back. I'm back. And so now she's wearing the lace slip camisole from winter. And what I love here is just, you know, the double in the, the sleep, the tank top, it's literally this, it's double face. So it's, the same material um, and the hint of lace just makes it a little a little prettier a little bit more feminine and I think there's something ironic about wearing like khakis which we're on Wall Street that is just like such yeah. a dad material with like yeah. a little slip top like the ultimate opposite yeah yeah attracting here and I think um, and guys quick fix at home but we when we did this if you have any of the slip skirts or anything from last spring this is the same fabrication here so it's really nice and gutsy and then the lining uh, camisole which can be worn on its own as well like basically it's two for one but it's out of the same fabrication so what makes this a little more interesting than not is that you can have pieces coming off and having it just um it's a little more gutsy and modern yeah. than anything you would just pull off the shelf. It, right, I think it, it offers a little bit more versatility in terms of styling. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it, it's one of those things like only you really know that it's two slip tops in one. So I think that gives you a lot of like power and personal styling. Yeah. And then, no, can, can, I, can I give her this shirt sure. before we put on the, um, yeah. the belt? Because I feel like the belt and the lace would be- It's a lot, yeah, no, a lot, right? Um, but I think here, like, so we're going to just do this quickly in real time here. But if you put on the shirt here, you're kind of about to very uh, classic again, right? But what we're going to show you here is where an accessory can really change up a lot. So let me just pull you back so that we can see the, the waist here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is throw on now a real like over the top belt that's got some interest to it. So this is like kind of, I don't know. I, I can only think of cheesy words to say. I, like I don't wanna say like rock and roll, that's so just <laughs> No, it's a little bit Western. Yeah. Um, but this would also give a lot of differentiation here so and if you just come to the front these are ones that we had made when we did an event with max in colorado so they weren't for sale it was for a charity event but i mean ebay yourself like crazy posh oh my like, gosh yeah you can find yeah. all of these like 80s belts all over the um all over the internet and so the idea here again is you've got all this great classic yeah and you wear, and this is one like you wear your belt, like you've got one belt that's really conked up or whatever. Yeah. You wear it a lot. Yeah. I mean, I definitely feel like if you, if your wardrobe is rooted in fundamentals, that's all of ours is, but if you really, really lean into that and you are wearing your whoops a lot, I find accessories a great way to really find your personal style within that mm -hmm. and to, you know, make it different than someone else who may be wearing a similar khaki or button down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
I just, this jacket to me is the ultimate totally. antonym as well. Yeah. So what we're gonna leave you with here is, remember this, you're not buying a specific antonym. What you're doing is you are buying some things that have these very interesting but distinct points of views mm -hmm. so that you can use them as antonyms when you want to because when you're wearing like the sporty shirt and the sporty pants, sport is no longer the antonym. Your right. antonym is tailored, refined, and pretty, you know? Totally. So um, I hope this, uh, I forget it, I don't have to hope. I know it was helpful because you guys always <laughs> tell me that this is. Um, but it is really useful. Think about antonyms to find yourself, how you're feeling, and then flip it on its side and come up with words that are the opposite and then just start pulling things out and trying that way. It's gonna give you new uh, clarity to be creative in your closet. Um, we are gonna be back in 15 minutes, so go do your thing for a little while and, um, and we'll be back with our next segment. Yep.